Right now, there are way too many AI video generators popping up every single week. Some of them cost an arm and a leg, and testing all the top models quickly racks up huge bills. Others might be cheap, but they're practically unusable in any real professional workflow you've got going on. Even when you find one that seems promising, it often falls apart the second you try to use it in actual production. You inevitably spend more time troubleshooting bugs than you do actually creating content. This forces you to juggle five different tools, switching tabs constantly and duct taping exports just for a simple 30 second clip. It's messy, it's slow, and that is absolutely not how creators who want to move fast should be expected to work today. In this video, I'm going to walk you through which AI video tools are genuinely worth your time and your budget right now. We'll cover how to build a workflow that actually holds together and what to use for consistent, high quality shorts without needing five different applications. Let's dig in. First up, let's talk about VO, which is the one to look at if you want that cinematic studio level imagery. We're talking real camera moves, 4K detail, and beautifully believable scene lighting that gets closest to that big screen look. I hop into the Create tab, select the newest VO3 model, and you'll find two primary ways to utilize its power, text to video or image to video generation. For text to video, you absolutely need a long, incredibly specific prompt that captures movie grade detail. You should include things like lens focal length, tracking shots, aperture settings, and the exact time of day you envision. View actually understands professional filmmaking terms, so try telling it an 88 millimeter tracking shot or an 85 millimeter shallow depth of field look. I personally find it's a huge time saver to paste an idea into ChatGPT first and ask it to expand that into a super detailed prompt for VO3. I also make sure to turn audio on for atmosphere and flip auto enhance so the system automatically tightens the prompt for the best result. The trade-off here is that renders take significantly longer than the faster consumer tools, but you frequently get footage that looks like it was shot by a small production crew. The downside is that it's simply not built for speed or mass content churn if that's your main goal. Access can sometimes be gated, the pricing structure isn't always transparent, and it's not ideal when you need to pump out lots of short clips quickly. This tool is great for trailers, high-end concept pieces, and cinematic openers, but it's less great when you need rapid iteration on ideas. Next, we move on to Kling AI, which you should think of as the realism and character specialist in this lineup. It remains flexible with both text-to-video and image-to-video, offering you a lot of granular control over expressions and subtle micro-movements. I picked the Kling 2.1 model, write a packed prompt, maybe a neon-soaked, rain-drenched motorcycle chase with fast dolly moves, and I always turn on auto-enhance. There's a neat auto speech option that will generate basic dialogue for characters right inside the platform, which is handy for social posts. Kling truly shines when you absolutely need believable human-like characters that convey subtle emotional cues like eye movements or soft head turns. For image to video work, you upload a portrait or concept, describe the intended motion, select a short duration, five seconds is usually the sweet spot, and pick a quality mode. The pro quality mode is my go-to because it offers the best balance between fidelity and the speed of generation. One interesting experimental feature is called element mode, where you can upload multiple separate assets like a background and characters. The tool then attempts to combine and animate all those separate parts together, though I find it's still a bit rough for final use. The bottom line is that Kling is perfect when a character needs to carry the entire piece, like for persona style YouTube clips or faceless channels. It's not the best tool for huge sweeping wide shots or for generating hyper stylized animation effects, and it's definitely not the fastest one available. If speed is the one requirement that is completely non-negotiable for your project, then Heo AI is definitely worth a closer look. Heo is specifically built to crank out short videos incredibly fast, while somehow still maintaining a decent cinematic flavor in the output. I often use the Hio standard model for quick test renders, like a slow motion ballerina bow or a moody product close-up, and then I hit generate immediately. In under a minute, I usually have a five second clip that's already good enough to post immediately or to iterate on further. For image to video, Heo Live is highly optimized for taking existing 2D art and turning it into polished animation. Upload your fantasy drawing, tell it to raise a staff with glowing runes and a push in camera move, and you have a sharp, stylized animation in about 30 seconds. Heo inherently trades off deep customization for that incredible speed, so it's not meant for frame by frame direction from the user. However, it's absolutely invaluable when you need to quickly validate an idea or assemble fast drafts for a client presentation. This tool is truly great for beginners and creators who need to produce a high frequency of content daily. Now, for animation first projects like anime, motion comics, or stylized intros, Pixfur is the dedicated platform where I go. Pixfur is not trying to fake photorealism. Its primary goal is achieving strong visual identity and expressive motion design. I select Pixfur 4.5, set the style and resolution. I usually stick to 1080p for final ready shorts and write a very specific prompt. For example, I might ask for a magical fox spirit running through a lantern lit forest with painterly textures and glowing line art. Pixfur offers special options like turbo mode, 720p, or even a classic 4-3 aspect ratio if you're aiming for a retro feel. A neat feature for image to video is the start to end frame transition, which lets you upload two keyframes and animate a smooth time lapse between them. This feature is fantastic because it gives you a huge amount of consistency across multiple generated frames for a sequence. If your project requires strong personality, stylized motion, or you plan to create an animated series of shorts, Pixfur will definitely deliver that look. 
It is very prompt faithful, which is a blessing if you already know the exact visual language you want to achieve. The main thing to note is that it's not ideal if your primary requirement is photorealism or generating natural looking human characters. So here's the simple pattern that emerges. Each of these tools is truly amazing when operating within its own specific lane. VO nails cinematic quality, Kling handles believable human motion, Hayo is the uncontested speed king, and Pixfer is the go-to animation artist. But that specialized focus is also the core problem. You do not want four separate subscriptions, four different interfaces, and four distinct export pipelines. The landscape of these tools changes incredibly fast in this space. You could subscribe to VO because it's the best today, only for Kling to drop a massive update five days later that makes it clearly better for your specific use case. Now you're stuck paying for yesterday's best model while the new technology is already outperforming it in your workflow. Switching tools weekly, constantly relearning new interfaces, managing multiple logins, and stitching files together in a timeline, it becomes a total frustrating time sink. That entire chaotic process is simply not how successful creators should be spending their valuable time. This is where a tool like Vizard comes in, offering a fundamentally different kind of solution to your problems. Vizard is not trying to recreate cinema or render a photorealistic character from a text prompt. Instead, it solves the problem every modern creator actually faces, turning your long videos into short, platform-ready clips consistently and at scale. Think about the content you already record, long interviews, live streams, webinars, or detailed tutorial sessions you complete. The real gold is hidden within those long videos, but manually chopping them into viral snippets is incredibly tedious work. Vizard automatically scans that footage, locates the high engagement moments, edits them into tight clips, and gives you ready to post content instantly. This includes captions, necessary aspect ratio variations, and everything else you need to hit publish across platforms. There are three specific features here that genuinely change the entire game for content distribution. First is the auto editing viral clips feature, which scans your long form content and produces multiple short clips optimized for social platforms for you. You no longer have to hunt through the timeline for that one perfect laugh or that single valuable insight. Vizard finds it all automatically. Next is the auto schedule function, where you pick how often you want to post, set a posting cadence, and the AI schedules those videos for you. This completely eliminates the stress of manual uploads or rushing to meet a specific daily posting window. The third key is the content calendar, which acts as a single dashboard to manage, tweak, and publish all of your shorts across all your social channels. It becomes a proper control center where you can see what's lined up, edit a clip's caption, or reschedule without ever leaving the application. Compared to the pure generative tools we just discussed, Vizard solves a different but absolutely crucial pain point in the creator economy. Vo, Kling, Hyo, and Pixfer are fantastic for generating brand new high quality clips from scratch, but they don't solve the post-production repurposing headache. If you are creating long form content and you want dozens of shorts from each episode, those generators aren't the easiest path to take. You'd still have to manually pick moments, export, upload, add captions, and then schedule everything individually. With Vizard, however, the entire process from raw footage to published clip is automated from beginning to end. You can use VO for a cinematic opener, Kling for a character segment, Pixfer for a stylized stinger, and Hiyo for a fast proof of concept. Then you simply put all your raw long video footage into Vizard and let it do the heavy lifting of turning it into a month's worth of short content. The other huge advantage Vizard offers is better cost control and genuine peace of mind for your marketing budget. Instead of paying for multiple subscriptions just to hit your daily posting goals, you centralize distribution with Vizard and only use the generators when creatively necessary. That strategy saves you significant money and drastically cuts down on that annoying tab switching. Furthermore, Vizard's scheduling and calendar features mean you are no longer playing the constant refresh and post game, which frees up your time to actually create new things. Here's a quick real world workflow that has been working incredibly well for me lately. First, shoot your main long interview or detailed tutorial video as usual. Use VO for a high polished cinematic opener if you think the video needs it, or use Kling for any realistic character B-roll segments you might need. Toss in Pixfer for animated transitions or branded intros, and use Hiyo when you just need a quick rough mock-up of an idea. Then export your raw long video and any generated segments and upload everything into Vizard to begin the automation process. Let Vizard auto edit dozens of shorts, quickly review the best picks, tweak a caption here and there, and then hit publish across an automated schedule. This workflow lets you get the best of both worlds, creative control from specialized generators, plus the sheer distribution power and efficiency of a centralized system. To wrap this entire breakdown up, the key takeaway is that there is no single one size fits all winner among the generators. VO gives you movie level visuals, Kling absolutely nails realistic character work, Hio delivers insane speed, and Pixfer is where you go for stylized animation aesthetics. But if you want to actually turn your long form content into consistent platform ready short clips without living inside five different tools, Vizard is the vital piece that ties it all together. Vizard isn't designed to replace the creative generators. It's the essential layer that makes using them effectively at scale possible. If you are trying to grow a channel, post consistently every day, or simply repurpose a backlog of content into viral clips, Vizard saves you hours and keeps your workflow sane. I will drop a direct link in the description below, so you can try it out and see exactly how it fits into your current content stack. Good luck out there with all your content creations, and remember this, 
The best setup isn't the flashiest single tool, it's the one that actually makes you finish and publish more often.